Hi, and welcome to another inspiring artist worth studying. Today, I'm going to be talking about J.C. Leindecker. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist on The Simpsons Television Show. I've been working on the show for over 25 years now, and I'm here to empower you. So, uh, J.C. Leindecker, I, I talked about Dean Cornwell, who has um, some similarities to J.C. Leindecker. I think Leindecker, he tends to um, take kind of like what Cornwell was doing and even plus it up even more like like he's even more stylized and I really uh, like that about his work you could really really see him uh, break up the design of his paintings let's, let's take a look so that we so I, I'm not talking uh, with, with nothing in front of me so I could actually show you what I mean Okay, so uh, here we have a painting by J.C. Leindecker, and uh, if you notice, first of all, um, I have had the opportunity to look at some Leindecker originals uh, at, at some art, art exhi exhibitions uh, near the studio in, in Burbank, and uh, it was really interesting because when you looked at his paintings, uh, you see these strokes and all these things. Well, he kind of painted his paintings twice. So he like did a practice run where he worked out the strokes he was going to use. And then when he designed, he did the final painting, it was like a deliberate, this is, these are the strokes I'm going to use. So he was really designing the strokes themselves when he was doing these things. And, um, it's amazing, like, like uh, everything is really chiseled out and worked out and really thought, thought through when he when he works this stuff. Like none of these strokes are are well. I'm not gonna say none, but for the most part, the strokes are really thought out and really well thought out as to this is gonna go here because this is this plane and this is gonna go here and and he's thinking about what the designs of these strokes are going to be so that he could chisel out and really work out the beauty of the design that he's that he's working on and uh this this particular painting uh, you you he he you could tell that that he just kind of there's a there's a um, he did a a a what's a brown umber or red umber pass here uh, and then and then he kind of highlighted everything with with the white and it creates this beautiful it just pops this image out uh, but he he's really just using uh, very simple uh, strokes he's not he's not it's not over complicated uh, there's a c curve here and it's and it's a direct c curve there's a c curve then there's a there's straights here uh, C curves, straight, straight C curves, like that. Like he's just kind of he's he 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 he's using three types of strokes: a straight stroke, a C curve stroke, and an S curve stroke. And throughout the whole thing, that's all he's doing, and he's chiseling out things very clearly, making the statement while still being extremely extremely accurate with his with his draftsmanship. It's solid. It's 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 naturalistic, and it's working. Look at this hat. Boom. That's just a straight right here. Boom. This is a slight C curve. This is a C curve here, but it's a straight. Well, it's more of a straight. Boom. Here's a C curve up here. Straight C curve here. Straight 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 straight. There's a lot of straights in here. There's a handful of C curves. And the thing about the the way that they're put together is that they each complement and contrast with each other to create a really great design. Here it's, it's the same technique and this these white strokes around they're like very clearly the the strokes are 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 um deliberate so that they make a a beautiful pattern of strokes so that it's it, so that it creates an interesting uh, design and shape even on this at this level but here uh, it just it just feels like there's so many straights 
straight, straight, straights here. Like it's it's all really blocky and 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 really thought out. A lot of straight straight strokes here, and then there's a there's a there's an occasional C curve, occasional C curve here, and then there's a there's a C curve here. But look at all these straights. There's so many of them. Here we have a C curve. Here we have an S curve right in there and it goes into another C curve here C curve here there's a little bit of an S curve right in here but like the clothes are all straight and it creates this really dynamic energy to the painting like just boom 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 and look at this beautiful cast shadow where it's just what a hard, really hard edge here boom and then and then it's, it has it has the same value as as the skin it's, it's really great and here we have some really deliberate straight strokes boom 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 and it's it, all of these things here again boom just kind of straight straight strokes in here may a lot of this stuff is just made out of these chiseled very thought well thought out and like i said he, he plans these strokes before he finishes the painting so he's he, he tries to find what makes it look as, as energetic and dynamic as he possibly can. Uh, so he's really clearly de designing this stuff. Straight, C-curve, straight, straight. And, and there's, it's, oh, it's, it's so, it has this really great dynamic energy to it when you look at his work. And all of these are straights here. Um, even, even here when he's just... <laughs> All of these, they're straights, and they make a round shape, but made out of straights. Again, with the straights, you can see all that stuff here. Uh, his guys are just super chiseled. Um, look at these strokes; they're just June, June, June. He's just breaking through these things, just coming through here. It's 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 really um, beautifully designed stuff boom 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 very deliberate here's are some straights right here and so he's making these soft shapes out of straights he's making these round shapes out of straights uh these are c curves boom 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 you can see the c curves in here you can see the straights in here uh, but he's chiseling out all these planes boom boom he, you could see the, the, the carve, the carving of these two different planes. He stops it right here, like there's some C curves here, but they stop right here. And then there's just like this changing of the plane right here, just really quick. Boom, boom. There's just two things here. There's another one there. There's a little bit of a highlight there. Bam. It's, it's, it's amazing. He, he just look look at look at the overall effect of this painting it's just so dynamic and so interesting and so well designed and well thought out and every stroke is a deliberate act of design he's he it's and if so when you're when you're i don't know if you were to uh copy his work it would be very difficult to not start using some of these effects yourself uh, done in, if you've done enough copies. Look at this. So this is really fantastic. Like the, the back is fantastic because what he does with the strokes here is that he he wraps around the form with the strokes. And the form the, the strokes that he's using, uh, reinforce the perspective of this body shape. So he's not just kind of like, well, nah, 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 and then he's just, and, and he, he's, he's doing a gradient, a soft gradient that comes. No, he, what he's doing is he's actually literally describing going across the form so that it feels even more solid. Even here, this stroke, these strokes here are wrapping around and creating this. Uh, round shape of the um, glutes here boom 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 and then and then he's going in and he's countering that with the strokes of the 
uh, wrinkles. And so one of the things that he's do he tends to do with with the with the uh, with the wrinkles with the folds is that all the strokes and this is something that you can probably see in all the other ones but every single one of the strokes goes with the direction of the fold so if 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 we have this is the, this is the 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 pull point and this is a pull point and then we're getting and then the 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 fold is being stretched across here because here is the anchor here's the anchor points here's an anchor point here's the anchor point for all these folds and they're all pointing to the anchor the anchor points right because that's how folds work they're, they they get pulled into the anchor point of where the folds are and then they get pulled into the other anchor point and then they they point to the anchor points right what what uh, line decker's doing is that he it, the strokes of the brush that he's using follow the follow the thrust of the uh, anchor point of the stretch boom boom they all come down here so you can see the strokes are actually going in the direction of the pull same here it's wrapping around so he the strokes are actually going around like that boom he so he's kind of deliberately um over emphasizing with the strokes the solidity of the object that he's that he's um that he's using and here again he's wrapping around wrapping around and then it turns pers in perspective and it comes down this way and the strokes actually show the the solidity of this of this arm and then, and then this stroke here points to the anchor point. And so they, they, the strokes themselves are um, informative. Same with the hair. Here it's wrapping around, so the strokes go in the direction of the wrap of the hair, and in the in in the in, in the shape of the head so that it feels like it's going around and it's describing the solidity of the head beautiful work um, here see how the the clothes here of these people they're going down this way because the the folds are dropping down by gravity and so the folds follow this effect same thing with here they they wrap around here this is where the folds happen so that's where the where the the strokes go and then these go this way across in a relaxed way. It's 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 so good. It's so good. And then of course, like his really beautiful white highlighted sketch outside. It, it's it's oh man, he's so good. Here we have this uh, face, and again, these strokes go in the direction of these planes. Boom boom. This one goes a little bit across. This is is trying to describe the direction of these uh, of the hair, which is beautiful and fantastic. We have this just kind of highlighting a little bit of the muscle highlight here coming in. Boom, boom, just kind of popping in some light. Um, but it's beautiful. Look at look at the way that he chisels out with the white. He just chisels out these these straights in the in the hair like. Like you'd think that it, 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 that hair has to be round and soft all the time. Look, it's just he chiseled it out. Not only does it is it a straight here. This is a C curve in coming in here. This is another C curve, a smaller C curve. So here's this is almost a straight, and it's a different type of C curve, right? And this contrasts with this, contrasts with this. So we have a, a short straight. Then we have a shallow curve, but really, really long. And then we have a a short deeper curve and then we have a slightly longer deeper deeper curve and then we have a a, a really long C curve right here and, and, it, and it goes from the hair all the way down to the neck and it stops right here so it's it, it's it's what he doesn't break this shape up it's just such great great design and great decisions this one is almost made out of stipples it seems like but um i think this is just lot strokes going in in 
this direction. I think there might have been some going in slightly opposite direction. This is almost like cross hatching here. But look at this pop, this pop right here, just to make just to make that this little area of of, uh, of shadow just pop, pop, pop. Um, it, it's a it's a highlight that that just to add that edge in. Um, and, and in, and in little indentations of the head, that's where we, we get uh, really light lights because of, of the way that, that, that light comes in and it, and it bounces off. And it makes these beautiful little contrasty boom right here. Here's one. Uh, usually there's one. There's usually one right here. Sometimes there's one right here. Usually it's right here. Um, but uh, it, it's so good, like the red of the ear here, um, and then the design of the uh, exterior, the design of the hair, again, very deliberate strokes. His face is extremely well chiseled. I love this shadow shape here. It's so good. Like if you squint, it's just perfect. Um, great shadow shapes. Again, see, look at the look at the the silhouette of this guy. Beautiful silhouette, and again, all these the the um, the folds, the the strokes of the folds are all going in the direction of the of the pull for the folds. Yeah, oh, man, I love I love his work so much. Look at the baby. Okay, so the babies. He's got a lot of baby paintings, and the babies are are round, right? Like you, you've got these be beautiful um, round shapes. But notice that, for example, here we have this beautiful round shape, and then pow, a straight, and then back to the round. And this one is just one super long shape right here. So good, and you could see the strokes straights there are straights in here there's a lot of straights in here there's so many rounds that his shadows here we have this beautiful beautiful c curve uh for the cast shadow and then inside straights straight strokes and then again this beautiful s curves cast shadow real hard edge so we have this soft edge here and then a hard edge right here Soft edges, soft edges, then hard edge, you know, soft edges. So this contrast between soft edges here and then the hard edges, and then there's there's these almost, this one's a really shallow C-curve, but it's almost a straight. Here we have a, a very shallow C-curve, almost a straight. Here we have a shallow C-curve, almost a straight. And so, like, we've got these beautiful um, contrasting shapes. Con Here's like, we have a long C curve. And then we have a very shallow one, very sh tiny one that, that's not quite uh, an echo of, the, uh, of this. And then we got boom, boom. We have this beautiful little shape here. And then straight strokes. The, the strokes go in the direction of this, this form to re-emphasize and to emphasize the, 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 um, the the solidity of the form it, it's it's brilliant look look at this beautiful look at this beautiful uh, little pop like this convex c curve with this c curve here and it's it's a, it's a it's it's two c curves that can, that kind of make an s curve here this is an s curve this is these are two separate c curves and this is an s curve going in and out and pow broken up into this with this little shape here where that that has uh, these beautiful like convex there's a little there's a couple of straights in here one two three straights uh four slight c curve here and that's curve there straights so there's there's straights put in there just to like emphasize and and, and create more contrast it's such a beautiful beautiful uh drawing i love this little baby uh, again, uh, he he loves the he loves the straights. Here we have these beautiful strokes coming in and across. It's almost like 
<laughs> it's almost like an ink drawing where you where you see those the, those ink drawings where it's just really like made out of just beautiful straight line renderings. Um, he almost does that, but with a brush, right? With the strokes of his brush, uh, like like a, it's almost like a painted version of uh, of a a Gibson of a Gibson girl, right? That's really what it, it actually, it just dawned on me that that's what it feels a lot like. It feels like a Gibson girl painting. Um, but, but that, it, it's so, so like it's, it, it, it's, it's so good. It, it just works so well. It's beautiful. Like, I love this stuff. It's so good. Oh my gosh. So we have this, you could see the strokes. There, that's what the thing about painting um, something that I, I just I'm not quite there yet when it comes to painting with opaques and things like that. I just there's something about this quality of thickness where you could see the paint. I love that so much. I, and um, but look how beautiful the 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 strokes are and the designs of of uh, this these paintings are. Like he's he, like I said he, he used to do practice. Um, paintings and these things are done like like I saw them they were like on linen right and they, he, he would like grab like he would do a hand and he would just paint the hand and he would just practice the strokes on the hand and then you would see the finished painting and it would be like the the, the painting the way that he that he, he practiced it so all of these things are deliberate designs just to find the most beautiful way to just express it um, it's so good Again, here we go, uh, straights coming in here, and then he's just kind of popping, uh, popping these uh, these highlights in, boop, 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 with C curves. Uh, and and again, like the this outline, very deliberate, very well designed, really emphasizing the, especially with the males, a lot of the straights, boom, 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 and C curves up here. But a lot of straight strokes, and uh, and the the strokes here where where we're getting these emphasis is on on the plane changes here. This is the plane change right here. Plane change. Um, this is interesting because he doesn't wrap anything around. He this is all just kind of straight straight across shapes here so it's here's a plane and here's a different plane so his strokes change and here's a different plane so his strokes change and then here's a different different uh value and the strokes are still going in the same direction but here i find it interesting that he doesn't like you would think that he would go across right but he didn't he just boom 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 i think maybe this stroke went on top maybe he just kind of went we made this and, and thought that that was a really great uh, feel to the design here and then he just kind of wraps some paint across as a secondarily beautiful another one where his his strokes follow the here's the anchor point and then here comes the pinch and they all wrap around and do their pinch here this is a change plane of the a, a change uh, of the plane here so this is no longer a um, part of this fold and so it just goes down here and it and it emphasizes that this direction here is coming across here and then we go back to this wrapping around for the the pinch and the uh, and the anchor points and then this here we see that he's just he's wrapping around here boom going around the rhythm of the head very deliberate beautiful and then it and then the change of the planes here here we have a, a, a plane coming across and then we we have the fold and then we go across and it's but every single one of these things is just so well designed oh this is good because you get to see plane changes here plane change here then 
the highlight here, like this, the, to remember how I said that sometimes you, you get the, the, the light areas here and up here. Well, there it is. There's that boom, boom, boom. And then we have the, um, the rim light coming across on the nose. Uh, and then we have the, the fold going across fold going across beautiful design of the hair and head shape it's it's it, it's emphasizing the um the graphic nature of what he's doing so he's kind of going and really like uh we've talked about Stuart Emmerman and and and, and uh, these other comic book artists who, who, who do this highlight exterior shape that um, silhouettes the figure. Well, this is, this is the way you do it with paint when you highlight the figure and you really work out the graphic nature of the, of the silhouette uh, with the paint itself. And the looseness and the sharpness of the paint and the strokes really um, push that too. So here, look look at this beautiful, like part of the thing that makes this beautiful is the graphic nature of all these strokes all around that make it that much more dynamic. It just adds all this energy and vibrancy all across. Uh, even this ball isn't really like completely round. It's, there's There's a lot of like straights in here but look how gorgeous these strokes are just very very deliberate wrapping around um, here's the stretch of this arm here's and then coming across oh no this is actually i'm sorry uh the pad so he's just emphasizing that there's a pad here boom 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 and then these are going across and they're all kind of kind of connecting to each other boom boom coming in and across coming in and across this gorgeous face boom boom here's the the the, uh, the planes coming across here there's a plane coming across here there's planes here boom boom and all these beautiful shapes and again the 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 strokes emphasize and design the hair and then there's C curves in here, boom, concave ones that really push and, and 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 work this out. And look at this, these two shoulder pads. Like these shoulder pads could have very easily been done as a circle, but he didn't do that. One giant S curve, I mean one giant C curve, but he didn't. He it's like straight, heavy C curve, straight C curve. And then this is almost a straight too. This is a straight, straight, straight. And this, it's a round shape, but it's all straights. It, it, what it does, it also emphasizes the hardness of these pads so that um, you could tell that these things are, you know, they're there to, for protection. It's just, just the most beautiful hand. And, and I love the fact that it's all in shadow, right? Like these, this, amazing shadow shape so I'm, I'm i'm thinking that he he just created a shadow shape here and then he just added the highlights this these light shapes when he painted it so good and so intelligent you know really smart stuff this guy how so, like every Everything in here is one giant design. Like, like, look at all these strokes, like the way that he's designed everything. Like, you again, we have a lot of concave, a lot of S curves, C curves, straights. But look at, look at how amazing it is to have these really smart, very uh, deliberate uh, shapes coming down here. This is uh, his his uh, letterman's sweater i suppose coming down here and uh they 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 kind of wrap around wrap around 
And uh, I believe that these are kind of like the themes that he's doing. And it's just really smart. And then we have these highlights. Like I said, this is like ink almost. Like just really linear the way that he's adding these, these strokes. And he's doing these really, really smart so that it so that it feels all it's like it's almost like cross hatching. We've got this like dark shape here, and then we have like all these kind of cross hatching shapes in here. But they're all these strokes that y'all go into in the direction of the um, the fold that that needed to that need to be there wrapping around wrapping around super solid stuff look at the look at this leg look at these legs bam and in the strokes just coming across coming across just emphasizing these uh, the the planes and the muscles So good. So yeah, that's uh, that's Line Decker. He is amazing, just utterly amazing. Highly, highly recommend uh, studying him, working off of his work. So I'm going to recommend uh, this book here. Um, I have this. Uh, it, it's a. It's a bit of a. Almost. I, I like the book because of its size. It's. A, it's a very. It's a very big, kind of sized book. And what we get here is, is, large, large uh, paintings. You also get. We also get some of the, some of the drawings. But we'll we'll see in a second. But here. Here you could see an example of what I was saying where he's practicing the strokes that he's going to be doing. He, he practiced the, the strokes. He practiced the drawing before he started it. Um, here again, this is also another practice. But I've seen, I've actually seen the, so, some of the, not, not this original painting, but I've seen some of the original uh, Look at this kid. His original practice runs, right? Like on linen. Uh, and then you, you can see, see here's some practice stuff too. So it's really great to have uh, that sort of thing. But you've got these posters in this where you get to see f a pretty good reproduction of these paintings. And there's like no, there's a blank on the other side. So you just get just these gorgeous, gorgeous paintings. So you do get an introduction, but uh, it's mostly just to show you, it's just to show off the paintings. And I'll link to other Line Decker books in the description of this video, but I highly recommend checking out any Line Decker book you could get your hands on. To study uh, how amazing an artist he is, uh, how well he designs stuff, how solid a draftsman he was, um, uh, you will you can't help but get better if you were to study his work. All right, I hope uh, that has been helpful. I hope I introduced you to a painter you didn't know anything about, and if you did know any something about, I still. Hope that you uh, enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you next time. All right.